Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745, and that's all the resources there. Um, here, and I'm playing Hearts of Iron 4's Black Ice. And hey, if it's not welcome back, it's welcome. Hopefully I earn your subscription. And everybody, it really helps if you can give this video a thumbs up. Now, I want to say a few th well, at least one thing. I may get into some other topics here before we get going. Um, before starting this episode and starting the, the stream, um, I spent about 10, 15 minutes going along, looking at the front line and issuing orders. I am definitely playing this game way too fast for playing it well. And um, everyone should keep that in mind. It's not just some defense for things not going well. It's just I'm trying to keep everything flowing. And I'm hearing that Singh got conjunctive itis. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what that is, but sorry to hear you're not doing well. I hope you get better and very soon. So just keep keep that in mind that it takes um, you you should really dig into this game and get going with this. So um, I think since we just started and have let the clock roll, some of these things will adjust here in, in a moment. But it looks like we have two free military factories. So um, look at our current needs. Currently. Okay, armor recovery vehicles. I don't think I've researched anything in that realm. Um, Germany had virtually well, oh yeah, virtually no armored recovery vehicles as produced. Um, Now they had vehicle. They ha they used a lot of prime movers. Um, do we have a good example of? Um, yeah, prime movers like these artillery tractors to recover armored vehicles. These aren't armored vehicles, so they're not armored recovery vehicles. Viral conjunct, commonly known as eye flu, is an infection that causes red eyes, itching, inflation of the. In okay, yeah, monsoon season. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Saying I'm hopefully it's something you'll get over soon. That eh, doesn't sound fun. So they definitely recovered armored vehicles, most assuredly. But as built, Germany had virtually no armored recovery vehicles. I don't think, again, as built or as a major factory conversion, either one, um, I think really only we see that in World War II at any sort of scale is the U.S. They, I don't know whether they were old vehicles sort of converted and refurbished or end of production, you know, well, what do we do with these um, vehicles now that they're no longer wanting to be used as proper tanks, being the um, the Grants, um, the tanks, you know, with the 37 millimeter on the turret and the 75 down in the Sponson. They did create a bunch of um, armored recovering vehicles out of those, and then on a um, Sherman holes, they purpose built built armored recovery vehicles. Now Germany did have some armored recovery vehicles, but as far as I can tell, and again, we don't have. Hey, um, what is that? Uh, Chris Tupas, uh, Pan Mantis. Sorry, I'm probably butchering that. Don't mean to. And hello, Holiday Punch, Blitzkrieg. Yeah, well, we're pushing as fast as we can into the Soviet Union. Um, yeah, you know, we don't have all the records for 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 you know Germany in World War Two, but as far as I can tell from looking at photos, all of the armored recovery vehicles are conversions of either damaged or out of date, you know, um, like Panzer 3s or Panzer 4s 
in the days when they're becoming less effective as armored fighting vehicles. Um, a few Panthers. One is even a nice done job that they mount like a 15 millimeter auto cannon on, on it, but you can tell that it's um, like sort of field done. It's not a factory as far as I can look at it. But that's done. Um, there was... Uh, you know, so they so they convert some of those Panthers. Mostly, I, I think like things are damaged enough in the turret that they just decide to pull the turret off and put on a winch and a few other things, and there you go. And it's sort of field done um, armored recovery vehicles. There is one photo of, and it's probably done in some production facility, but I'm not sure what. It's um, the hole that the elephant or the Ferdinand or, you know, they originally were going to build, you know, possible tiger holes on it. One of those without any sort of uh, superstructure on it. I don't think it ever had been built as a superstructure that was used as an armored recovery vehicle. And that I want, I, I don't know, maybe they had a good wenching system in it. The Ferdinand... Oliphant, and it looks fairly, this is fairly armored up, um, you know, has a um, power to weight ratio problem and overheating as it is. So I don't know how good at towing or unsticking a stuck vehicle would be with one of these things. I mean, I'm sure it's better than nothing and it's it's armored. So if there's, you know, sharp little pieces of metal flying around it, you're, you're much safer being in. So... Um, but probably actually, you know, they'd often, you see like a tiger being towed. Um, Mill tracks, which is a armored convention that I want to go to someday somewhere in Brussels. Well, not Brussels, Belgium. I see Brussels there. Um, they reenacted, um, I think this last year or something, three of the big tractors they had there. They towed a, um, was it a tiger or some other tank? I don't know. They just, and it wasn't stuck anywhere. It just, just towed it on flat level ground so that, um, you know, that was sort of the standard two or three of these things linked and towing. And the, re the reason they want to use these is um, the tracks give you good traction and um, the power to weight, weight ratio because it's unarmored is pretty good. So, yeah, so I don't know, again, where we're looking at, uh, right here, looking at, the only thing here is garrison equipment that we're way behind on, but we are not catching up on, that's fine. So I'm going to ignore that right now. Um, so we are pretty full on most things, so I don't know that we should add more tanks into production at the moment. I think that may change. Um... An aircraft, we have a few extra slots. So let's add a cast. I think we'll get some imports here very soon. You know what? Let's do long range fighter. Where is our one tenths? There we go. We'll increase that. So, um,. Let's, okay, I'm actually going to slow the clock down even more. You can see everything snapping to action here. We'll just lend support there. Get a unit. Oh, okay, good, good, we're here. So again, this is, you really should almost play it like a turn-based game. This is our main breakout force. Now we, and boy don't I, I love that we have ra railroads. Okay, so we want to come the longest railroad here because we want to secure it as quickly as possible.
be a quick around there. Get them in a bit of a pincer movement. I'm going to move you right to there. Now. You. you you're going to keep moving to there, though. They're already falling back from there. You can just keep marching up and around. Secure the coastline. We've created a pretty big pocket in here. We are pushing out. That's meant to just be a spoiling attack so that we can occupy. All right, well, good. So we now have infantry divisions all along here. Two right here, one there. So that means I should hopefully be able to a lot of units there. Okay, you keep moving up to here. You attack there. You push there. That, you can like that if you can. Okay, initiate the attacks. I really wish I didn't have to wait for the attacks to initiate like that. Um, that's not that to then being able to um, assign. Okay, well they're retreating. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna push here now. Hopefully the Romanians. Uh huh. We're gonna trust the Romanians. Hey, amazing! How you doing? Oh, we love pockets so much here, especially if we're not trapped in them, but having them... I am recovering faster in the morning. Can't even open my eyes, but now just a little pain. When I... Okay, well, I hope you get better, Sing. Uh, Sing just doesn't seem to have a lot of good luck recently. Hopefully things will get much better for him soon. These guys are all pushing into there. We're going to swing you out this way once you get there. Let's take a look at our air operations. Okay, well. Uh, hmm. They have a lot of capacity. Okay, here. Let's see. If we were to look at fighters. Okay, good. We got a lot of the meals right there. We're going to bring out a squadron of meals. You're going to go for air superiority and go there. Let's wish it would just stay where we last left it pinned. Another squadron of the meals. Air superiority over here as soon as you can deploy.
and take a quick look around the world. The Italians seem to have stabilized their front line. They're facing only two British divisions. Not exactly sure why they're only facing two British divisions, but my guess, though, we and we see a few British units out here with attacking our Iraqi allies, so they very well may have done. Oh, hey, we're doing great here. Oh, shit, there's an enemy over here and, and sent everybody that way. When this could probably take care of itself in time, and they probably should have kept pushing. The British control um, Sardinia and Corsica. There, otherwise things are going pretty well. Oh, we had a battle off here. Sunk a convoy. And take a look out. At Japan, we know. I don't. Oh, do we still have? Yeah, I think we still do have a. Um, yeah, that's what we're seeing. An advisor out here, team, to just so I can get mostly so I can get a look like this, so you guys can see what's going on. So Japan's doing fairly decent here. All right. Okay, so we've just taken this, and we're up there now. They're falling back from up here, so it looks they're falling back. Let's push here and here. These guys are moving up along the rail line. We're going to send you that way once you get there. Make sure they keep moving. Still have the momentum. Keep going there. Hey, Arno, my friend. Yes, and hello. Um, hmm. Mr. Orgy. Is that how that's supposed to be said? Okay. Sounds like a fun time, I guess. Um... Get to Riga that way. You push. And Arno is over on YouTube as well. Very good. These battles are going a bit hard. But I think as important is just to keep pushing on them a bit here. Okay. Okay, good. So they're already retreating from there.
How do we get a mountain division up here? I have no clue. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Pushing up. Okay, now see where the idea was to come down here to cut these guys off. More units we can cut off and destroy the better. Just standing there. These guys are pushing. Yeah, that's looking good. We are rather weak on our northern push here, especially from motorized forces. You can get across the river that way. But you don't actually need to keep going down there. You can go there. Um, I think you two can go here. Just push everywhere. Everywhere a push. I to do it smartly, but... We'll be moving forward too. Hey, and thanks for following. Do appreciate that. I have to get new people around here. Okay, so. Okay, we got back a bunch of formerly lost Romanian territory. Going along of seeing a fortified Soviet line here. So let's add in three divisions in the attack there. Hopefully that will get us across. Okay, and we've killed off those two divisions. You can move in to reinforce that. And here you can, I think, support that attack. Yes across the next river. You support this attack so it goes a little quicker. Okay, they're falling back along this front. To squeeze on these guys. They move up to us, try to take their ability to... I really have to wonder, are there really this many railways through this trip at Marshes? Seems like a lot. You know, I've, I know I've said that before, but I still think it seems like a lot. Okay, um... 
Well, I guess the railway is where we should be pursuing along. And Arno's over on Rumble as well. And Kick, okay, thank you. Arno for posting over there. That attack. Just have to get across there faster. You can support this. I think you can come that way and you can join that attack. Okay, so we've gotten all the way up into here. They're trying to get across. They're having a bit of a hard time. So, one division will support this attack. And two divisions will. I'm just seeing that this is going fairly well here. Okay, looks like we're getting across this river here. These units are coming up. Okay, excavation level four has been achieved. Now, were there other things that I was needing to do to then do something else? I don't remember any of them. Is this what this getting excavation four? We do have a lot of political power right now. Uh, I think will allow us to, yes, um, get some oil fields in Friesland and Emsland. Uh, okay. So, for 120 days and we'll get some oil. So we're, we're going to take, at this current usage, we're going to take a year to use up all of our oil so we will balance that also well, freeze land i believe is over in the netherlands so um we'll do this one first to get that directive yeah whatever i don't like these things i'm supposed to be the fuhrer and setting the goals are here now we'll push on them and send one more across to Riga and these guys will support that attack there make sure that we don't get any breakout of those divisions Yeah. The Deutschland Regiment will support that attack. Okay, you guys cross the river with everybody else. You push here. You support that like 
gas. These guys are pushing up. You can support that. Guys can start moving forward. These guys get to go up there. There. Okay. Okay. And Ben Ingato changed my name. It sounded weird in English. Well, I'm um, sorry. I don't know what. Um, uh, unless you're uh, not sure what you, you were before. Um, name Taz. Sorry. Yes, but not sure. Ah, right. Yes. Yeah, without a con, without context, you know, knowing what was meant, where to put the. Oh, we never did pick another thing to research. Where to put the breaks in words? It. It's a bit tough. Uh, okay. Doing this, yes. Um, do that. Okay, I want to look. Okay, we need more tungsten apparently. Okay. Well, let's see about getting it from Portugal. It's very historical. Okay, well, now you start pushing in there. Maybe some Hungarians will join the attack. That's a huge amount of divisions trapped in there. Okay, well, they're coming up to here. We're getting the railways. You push down that way. You support that. You two divisions attack there. get across this river, break through this fortress line. Okay. Also here, so we're pushing at two points on that fortress line slash river defense. Okay, we made it into Riga. Um, one of these divisions keeps pushing there so these others can get freed up to go uh -huh. can get across the river there uh, 
We still have a lot of divisions playing cut. Okay, you guys need to keep moving. Okay, well. We're trying to trap more divisions down in here if we can. more factories we can build more things okay so we're down by one on the tanks and that's what we had been before if I remember correctly and we have some extra aircraft factories so uh, production facilities by four Let's do some more 88s. JU 88s, that is. Okay, and let's. I'm also thinking here, we are recruiting and deploying. So, um, these are set to think, be over there. So, let's move them to here. And you to here. So when they come onto the map. That's what I'm going to do right at the moment. Also, I want to see, do we have any of these that I failed to sort of click on? Uh, we got that. Done that, so that's good. Okay. Okay. These guys are pushing hard on us here. So we're going to send one. This. Motorized going there. Across the river, you can come to here. been exhausted. I 
good we're crossed here. Really good. Um Just come to there, these guys get across here, these guys come to there. Let's take a look at our supply situation. This is what I really love about the new Hearts of Iron here now, that we can see supply capacity at various points here where we can supply where we're supplying from how much we, we can supply or is being supplied or trying to be supplied and that is great and we can make it hey folk he's racing down yeah, I don't know if we will encircle Odessa. You are right that I did see these guys up here. Um, I'm at least moving because these guys are almost across the river. Well, one of them is almost across the river here. Um, you guys can also head that way. Um, that I'm hoping to then directly attack. Well, these guys are going to be fast too, so we're going to... Uh, those are sort of... Um, uses a pinning force I'm hoping hoping it gets there um. One division attacks, the other division supports. I don't want to give up that hex if we move out. Okay, here, there we go. Those guys are going to start the pinning attack. Oh, yeah, one's already there. So, oh, we're going to keep pushing. Okay, return Romania. Okay, yes, we're going to return that to Romania. What was asking right then. You guys start pushing that way. And you support the attack. Oh good, we're pushing here, so awesome. Let's support that attack. They're already coming there. You guys just head this way. I think we've got those two divisions contained. I do hope. Okay. Yeah, okay, we've made it into Will now. And these railroads are definitely shaping my strategy, which is what it's meant to do. You can support that. Okay, yes, oh good. There we go. It's in circle. They're being 
push back. Now let's see if we can break out of Wilno and oh, pause, pause, pause. Oh, look at the player door. Okay, good. Um, good for you guys. You support the attack. You do a pinning attack there. You're not well organized. You join that. You push into the empty place. Coming in to fill the gap. Good. Go that way too. Okay, looks like we are going to be able to do this reasonably well. You keep pushing that way. You can now move forward. You guys can push to there and support that push. Oh, more factories. Okay, which right now um, these are all being captured and put into service. Um, okay, we've now pushed beyond our air production capacity. So, what more do I want more of? Everything but I don't like seeing all these reds okay heavy artillery we should probably see about some more heavy artillery And I want more tanks, but well, I think just garrison equipment, the unsexy stuff. Let's try to get that down. We're going to be garrisoning more more stuff here. Hopefully much more stuff. How are the Italians doing? Okay, well, some more British have showed up. Uh, they're pushing our Italians back here now. Okay, well. Italy's got this, doesn't it? Yeah, that, that's, that's sounds about right. You push there now. But we are across the river and you support that attack. We got some more reinforcements coming there. Right, okay, we moved up into here. And you support. We're probably not going to go very far on that, but. It's looking like it's going to be a pocket soon. Okay, they're all done with, so they can start moving east. They're falling back. Okay, well, I guess you get to move in, and you guys get to try to 
get across the river there. Well, we got the unit going north, so let's put these two, no, 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 these two divisions coming south to Minsk. Hey, Toy Jet! How you doing, my friend? And how... Is um, Baldur's Gate 3 going for you guys? Toy Jet and Eric, two of my good friends, uh, had been playing. Uh, I watched some of it. They were streaming it on um, the Discord server that we hang out in a lot. Um, and it was sort of fun to watch some of it, but I just wondered how's it going. Oh, it's going very well. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we got Odessa surrounded. We're going to send one division in. I think the Romanians are already sort of pushing that way. You guys keep moving up. You're all crossing the river there. Good, you'll get there very soon. That is good to hear. Um, yeah, let's move this armor division back up. Now you got pushed back. Get attacked from a lot of places. Okay, you can start moving up this way. You can join that attack. Okay, these guys are down there. So let's attack here again with support by these guys this time. Maybe the Hungarians will join in. Please. Okay. It looks like they're going to take their. These guys are coming up here. Looks like we're going to get a lot of. Udarian wounded? Uh oh. One should not... Yeah, you're absolutely right. One shouldn't, but... Was there some delusion that I was, a, like, you know, an intelligent, smart person or something? You know? But, hey. You guys can... I think, yeah, you can just head that way. Well, okay, we're going to end this episode. Not the live stream, everybody, but the episode here. I want to thank you for um, making it this far with me. And if you have any tips, suggestions, whatever, please post them below. And see you next time for more, yes, more Hearts of Iron.